Giuseppe Fontana and I'm a professor of monetary economics at the economics department of the University of Leeds. And today we have the great honor and pleasure of having with us Irene Van Severen and we are going to ask a few questions uh, to Irene. Another thing that um, you are extremely well known, not only in academia but outside academia, is for the so-called Lehman sister hypothesis. Now, if uh, I understand correctly, basically your argument is that the gender differences account for some of the behavioral drives behind the financial crisis. And just to quote you, um, you say more gender diversity in finance, and particularly at the top, would help to reduce some of the behavioral drivers behind the crisis. Could you tell us a bit more? Yes, well, it, it, I picked it from somebody else. Eh? The, the term Lehman Sisters hypothesis is not my own, but it was mentioned by EU Commissioner Nelly Cruz. Mm -hmm. It was picked up by Christine Lagarde. Uh, but of course, they're not academics, so they can just throw out such hypothesis without having to find any support for it. So I thought, let's try to find some support. Now, obviously, you cannot create a field experiment. Mm. Um, so what I did is uh, review existing empirical literature about gender differences in behavior and uh, largely in financial behavior. Um, so I uh, came up with three categories uh, from the literature, the empirical literature, that show that there are significant gender differences. One category is risk behavior, risk attitude. The second one is leadership mm -hmm. and the third one is ethics, responsibility, Moral. morality, and so on. And on each of, in each of these three categories, there's empirical literature uh, from psychology, uh, neurosciences, biology, uh, experimental economics, game theory, from many, many fields, also outside mm -hmm. economics. Um, largely supporting the hypothesis, although some results were puzzling. And there's, for example, a, a report by the Deutsche Bank comparing banks with women in a board and without women in a board and their conclusion and relate that to the risk uh, taking of the banks and it appeared from that study that with more women on the board the risk taking of those banks is higher which would run contrary to the Lehman Sisters hypothesis but they did not delve into why this would be the case so I looked for other studies that look at the interaction between men and women uh, and then uh, a study on online chess playing showed that men who play with women who have a higher ranking in, in chess playing, higher ELO ranking, play more aggressively, even though that reduces their winning chances. And so it's a, it's a kind of machismo testosterone attitude. Testosterone type of effect. A testosterone type of effect that men are challenged by high qualified women. And when these women are in, in a small, hey, in a minority, this uh, can trigger this uh, reaction uh, that in the end leads to higher risks and lower performance. Mm. Very interesting and I believe that work uh, in part of it has been published recently in the Cambridge Journal of Economics so exactly. we should invite everyone sort of, you know, to read uh, that paper and there are other papers coming out actually in the same journal on these uh, gender issues uh, and discrimination or stratification across the different uh, groups in society which is very interesting and uh, um, uh, there is a policy interest as well in that debate. Mm -hmm.